Hey, eighth graders. Today we're going to do a little extra study on kinetic energy, mass, and the velocity. But the main thing that we're going to be looking at is the relationship between mass and kinetic energy and mass and velocity. So what you guys are going to be doing today is collecting and using data. And that will help you determine the relationship between kinetic energy and mass and kinetic energy and velocity. So you guys will see how kinetic energy changes as we tweak the mass of an object and as we change its velocity. Okay, all right, so two parts to this assignment. We're gonna go ahead and move on to part one. So for part one, first of all, you guys will need to right click and open up this link here. It's gonna take you guys into a new simulation which you guys haven't used yet. It's actually for our next unit, so you guys will get really familiar with it. And then if you guys click on these three little horizontal lines up in the upper left corner, you wanna make sure you're in Open Explore. okay? With that being said, what you guys are going to do is you're going to be in the build portion of this simulation. You're gonna press on the object and move the top slider to give the object a horizontal velocity of two centimeters per second. So I'm gonna move this here so you guys can see everything. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the object. Horizontal velocity should be two centimeters per second. So I can see right there, two centimeters per second. Okay, and each time you guys run this, it's going to be moving two centimeters per second because the only thing we want to change in this experiment is mass. That way we can observe what happens when we change the mass. Um, how does the kinetic energy respond? Okay, so then you guys will press run and then analyze. So what we're going to see with this is right here our puck is one kilogram. So you guys can kind of tell by the color of the puck. So I can go ahead and hit run. And I'm going to watch it run. And then when I go to analyze, I'm gonna look at the mass and the kinetic energy of the object in the data table to the right. So here's my analyze, okay, get rid of that. And then I can look at this and say, all right, here's this data table, okay? And I can see that my kinetic energy is two. So what I'm gonna record there is for my one kilogram, I'm gonna go ahead and say that kinetic energy is two. In this case, it's probably joules or kilojoules. I'm not really sure what they're measuring that in. Okay, then you guys will do the same thing with the 0.25 kilogram puck. So you guys will go to build. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, go back to build. You guys are gonna restart. And you're actually going to get rid of this object and then you guys can circle through and use the 0.25 set your horizontal velocity to two, hit run, then hit analyze and check your guys's uh, kinetic energy of those, okay? So you're gonna collect that data for all seven of these masses, okay? And then once you guys have those seven data points plugged into the table, you guys will graph them on the next slide. So you guys will need the draw tool for this. So you guys will first grab a pen that's easy to see, I'm gonna use hot pink. You guys can also change the thickness of your pen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go say, all right, my first puck was about one gram, so in here between zero and two. And my kinetic energy was two kilojoules. So here's my mass right here, so one right here. And then my kinetic energy is about two. So my first dot will be right there. You guys are gonna have two dots to the left of that and then a bunch of dots to the right of that, okay? So you guys will go ahead and you will do all seven of your dots and then you need to very carefully as best you can with the draw tool, connect the dots. Another thing you guys can do is insert shapes and then just do lines to connect your dots. So if I go here, then I can click and drag a line that says, all right, I'm going from, oops, I see what just happened. Sweet, my Drago. There's my first dot, and then when I go back to my cursor, then my line will go from here to wherever my next dot might be, okay? So you guys have that option as well. So you guys can either do a really good job drawing a line, or you guys can use the insert shapes to add a line there as well. Okay, so two options for you, both pretty easy. Okay, but what I should see is some kind of line connecting those dots to form a graph. Okay, then you guys have a couple questions to answer about this graph. Is your graph linear or nonlinear? So obviously, if you look at the first four letters of this, linear, line, 
okay? Is it a straight line roughly or is it a non-straight line? So you guys would use your draw tool to either circle linear or non-linear. Again, think line. So the first four letters in that line, okay? Or is it not linear? Remember, you guys are doing this to the best of your ability with a draw tool on a computer or a Chromebook. So you may not get your dots in exactly the right places that you need them to be. So remember that if it doesn't look exactly like a straight line, but it's pretty close, chances are it was supposed to be a straight line. If it's not a straight line, you guys will notice, okay? So answer that question and then answer this question. What is the relationship between the mass and the kinetic energy? So I kind of started this off for you. I won't do as much on the next one, but as the mass increases, you're gonna explain what happens to the kinetic energy, say? So again, I started this. You guys just need to finish this sentence so you guys can click at the end, get rid of the little dot, dot, dots. And as the mass increases, the kinetic energy does what? Okay, so finish this sentence right here, okay? Moving on, part two is very similar. You guys will be in that exact same simulation. Okay, you guys will be in build. Your directions are gonna be slightly different though. So in build, press on the object and move the top slider to give the object a horizontal velocity of zero centimeters per second. Press run, then analyze. So zero centimeters per second means it's not moving. So that's our velocity, okay? So our first thing that we're gonna be doing is our velocity right there. So I'm gonna click on it, it's gonna stay zero. I'm gonna hit run. Obviously, if it's not moving, it doesn't have a velocity. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit analyze and say, all right, my kinetic energy is a big fat zero. So I would also plug zero into this chart. Okay, and that would be my first number I graph on the next slide as well as zero, zero, which would be right down here. Zero, zero, right there's my first data point. Okay, and then, <clears throat> Record the kinetic energy of the object in the data table. Repeat steps one through three with the other velocities in the data table. So you're not gonna be changing the mass of your puck at all. Again, we wanna isolate velocity and just change the velocity of our one kilogram puck. Okay, so then you guys would go back. You guys would keep the same puck because we don't wanna change the mass on it. We just wanna change the velocity. So then I can click it. My next velocity it gives me is two. So I would change my horizontal velocity to two. Okay, I would click run and then analyze and then I'm gonna collect the kinetic energies of the rest of these remaining data pieces. Okay, just like last time, you're also going to graph them. Again, you need to put all the data points on here and then you need to collect, uh, connect them with a line. So you're gonna play basically a game of dot to dot. Okay, so connect dot to dot. Um, you guys do the best job you can at this, okay? Make it look good. Okay, and then is your graph linear or nonlinear? Again, linear means it, it looks like a straight line or pretty dang close to a straight line. Nonlinear is it's not a straight line. Okay, what is the relationship between mass and kinetic energy? So this is similar to the last one, but I didn't start you off with as much as I did last time. So as velocity, you guys are gonna tell me either increases or decreases, you get to choose what happens to your kinetic energy. So again, get rid of those ellipses and finish this sentence talking about how you're gonna make a change to your velocity and what's gonna to happen to your kinetic energy. Okay, once you guys have finished that up, do you have any questions, circle yes or no. Do you have any questions, type them below. Again, you guys don't have to think up a question to put in there. If you have no questions, don't worry about typing anything there, okay? This is just to help you guys with the assignment if you guys need it or if you have another class, uh, question concerning class. And then circle four, three, two, one, how do you think you did on this assignment? And once you're done, you guys can go ahead and hand it in, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thanks, bye.